My name is Greg Kravitz. I'm running to represent the 182nd District because our community needs a clean break from the entrenched politics we have in Harrisburg. We need fresh leadership, fresh ideas, and a new direction. Just this week, my opponent, Babette Josephs, was named the Huffington Post's most disappointing Democrat in the nation. We can do better. If we want to have meaningful change in our policies, then we need a change in our personnel. Babette has failed us in a number of capacities over the last quarter century. At a time when her constituents were struggling, she voted for her own pay raise. At a time when her constituents lacked basic health care, she has taxpayer-funded health care for the rest of her life. At a time when Pennsylvania prepares to redraw its legislative boundaries, Babette killed a bill that she co-sponsored that would have taken politics out of the process. At a time when money has, been placed, has placed a stranglehold on our political process, Babette is now introducing a bill under the guise of campaign finance reform. Her bill essentially legalizes money laundering from political parties to machine incumbents by limiting individual donations while allowing huge sums of money to flow from the party to the incumbents of its choice. At a time when many of her colleagues are being indicted, Babette has remained silent about their conduct. I want to change the culture in Harrisburg, and I have the plan to do it. I strongly support House Bill 1660, which would provide health care to all Pennsylvanians, not just our elected officials. I support a fair, transparent redistricting process where decisions are made by, non, by a nonpartisan board, not entrenched politicians. I support a clean money, clean elections law where funding would come from the people, not corporations and parties. I support President Obama's new green economy and I believe Pennsylvania can be at the forefront in setting a positive example for the rest of our nation. Finally, I believe that all Pennsylvanians are created equal and I will introduce legislation giving all of our citizens the right to marry, adopt children, live and work, and live and work in a safe and respectful environment. Much has been made of this race in the national media during the last week, and I'm here tonight to discuss the issues, not Babette's disappointing comments and misunderstanding of the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender community. I knew that seeking public office would open my life up to scrutiny, but every day I meet voters who tell me I have their support because I am willing to stand up for who I am and what I believe in. That is my promise to you. I will stand up every day and vote my conscience and never become a defender of the party machine, the status quo, and the entrenched interests that have ground progress in our commonwealth to a halt. As we discuss the issues affecting our community tonight, I challenge everyone to consider the potential for fresh leadership in Harrisburg and a new direction for our politics. Thank you.